Hello Year 8, my name is Mr Rooney and I'm going to be talking to you about your lesson that you've been doing in computer systems and this is going to form part of your revision for your test at week 6. Now, um, what did we do? So the first lesson that we've done was all about uh, what is a computer system, um, looking at the inputs, processes and outputs of a computer system. Lesson number 2. We went through different computer hardware, pieces of hardware, such as sort of um, RAM, ROM, we went through the CPU, what the CPU does, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so we will go into a little bit further detail on that in the next slides. Um, lesson three was all about RAM and ROM. So what the purpose of it was, uh, what it does, and what it's needed to do in a computer system, and also what it stands for as well. Uh, lesson four was all about logic gates, and there was three logic gates that we went through, which was and, or, and not. And the last one is all about artificial intelligence uh, and robots and understanding um, how um, how this is all of a sudden started uh, and what it means for us in, a, in an ethical sense, but also um, how it actually works as well. So the first thing was all about understanding what a computer system is. How it works and also uh, and more importantly uh, what the pr input process and output is um, so to define a computer system uh, it is a computer system will allow us to input data uh, the computer system then will process the data uh, and instructions and then it'll output the result whatever we want so that is part of it and you can have loads of different types of computer systems you have a smartwatch mobile phones, you can also have a washing machine. Um certain so washing machines have got the have got have got the dials and all the buttons that you can press depending on what setting you want your wash to be on. Lesson two, we focused on uh, hardware and the physical part of a computer system. Um, and we looked at obviously uh, stuff like the motherboard, the CPU uh, and inside of this lesson we went through what the CPU was. So the CPU stands for central processing unit and this is defined as the brain of the computer what this will do is this will um form all of the this will um send all the instructions out to various parts of the computer system and will uh, fetch decode and execute the um the instructions as and when you need them okay alongside <coughs> hardware comes software and software is basically the application that runs on a computer system so this is stuff like, you know, uh, we're processing a uh, presentation software, uh, you know, understanding all of these pieces of software and why we use them. Uh, because different pieces of software have got different usage. So as an example of that is, if I wanted to create an image as an example, uh, or edit an image, I would use uh, photo editing software such as Photoshop. Um, if I wanted to create a video as an example, I would use maybe something like iMovie or or Premiere Pro or something like that and then we can obviously see the, the main difference between the two whereas hardware is the physical element of the computer whereas software is defined as applications that run on a computer system you can also as part of software also have stuff like the operating system also next one is all the difference between RAM and ROM and what the main differences are so ram stands for random access memory and this is basically a solid state piece of uh, hardware that is plugged in on the motherboard and this allows basically when we open up um, applications uh, it will be stored temporarily in ram now the more ram we have got the smoother the applications will run because there is a lot more memory to use okay um, Obviously, the more apps that we have got opened up, let's say on our mobile phones, if you have loads of apps loaded up, your phone will start running a little bit more sluggish. But when you close them, it will run much faster because there is more memory to use on the other um, on the application that you want to run. And then we get to ROM. So ROM stands for read-only memory, and this basically stores the boot-up sequence. Now, um, I call this the pre-flight checks. So it, it will check everything on the computer, it checks to make sure it's got a hard drive, checks to make sure it's got RAM, checks to make sure it's got a GPU, checks to make sure it's got all of the main elements of a computer system. And then what once it has done them pre-flight checks, what it will then do 
is it will then load up then the operating system and then the operating system then will take over and it will start running all of the applications as and when you need them. Inside of here as well we've done logic gate so in lesson four um, we went through the so we went through not and and or so an and gate needs both inputs both a and b to be on for the output to also be on okay we have also got an or gate and that or gate is basically either or okay so an or gate will have either a or b on for the output to be on Okay, and this is designed using these things called truth tables. And these truth tables will show so one means it's on, zero means it's off. Okay, so like I said before, if you look at the OR gate, either A or B needs to be on for the output to be on, and X is the output. Okay, so we can see either or, it doesn't really matter. Whereas on an AND gate, both A and B have got to be on for that to be on. Okay, whereas a NOT gate, a NOT gate only takes one input and outputs obviously one output and that output is the opposite to the input. So what will happen is, is if the input is on, the output will be off. Okay, and the last lesson uh, that we've done was all about artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence is basically relatively new science, but it allows people to interact with computer systems much easily. Now, what I mean by this is, um, the computer systems will learn, will keep learning from you. And what it will start to do is, is it will, the more interactions it will have with humans, the smarter it will become. This is evidence if you think of something like your home pod at home, for instance, the Apple speaker or Alexa. Uh, these will um, be able to recognize your voice, uh, maybe in different tones as well. Um, and if it doesn't hear your voice, then what it will do is then it won't obviously um, it won't respond. So an example of that is on the Apple speaker. Um, if you've got two users in the house, if I speak to it, it'll say, hello, Mr. Rooney. If my girlfriend says it, she says it'll say hello, and Mrs. Rooney. Okay, and then it'll it can sort of differentiate them between the two voices. So that is all I'm going to basically be going through today. Um, I hope you found this useful. Uh, when we start thinking about this idea of artificial intelligence, hardware, software, um, you know, artificial intelligence can it can potentially rule the world, um, but obviously it's still in the more development phase. Okay, guys, so good luck with your test. Hope everything goes well.